Let's have a look at how we install fonts into Affinity Photo or Affinity Designer for that matter. Um, so what we have here is the basic opening interface. I've got a couple of spare things up there which I can get rid of easily enough. They're just taking up extra room that we don't need. And I've got a blank there that I want to use. But first up, select Preferences. Go to Fonts and they're on the cloud, which is just about anything I'm using. Now, the first one in that list, Paytone 1. I know that's not currently installed. Paytone 1 regular. Click on that one, waiting, it downloads it. And it won't be in there yet. A, B, C, D. Uh, we have to get all the way down to L, 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 M. P-A-S, Paytone 1 regular, there we go, done. Now we put that in there. Pirate 1 at the moment, but we go to P, Paytone 1, there we go. A nice bold font. All there is to it installing fonts. Let's do that again. We'll go right back to the start. Open that up. Open fonts up. Go to there. Go back to fonts 13. Romanesco, is that in there? Romanesco regular TTF. Downloads it. Pretty there's no alphabetical listing on this. J K L M N O P Q P P P J J K Romanesco regular. There it is. Done. Bring that up. Bring that up. L M N O P Q P Q. Romanesco. Probably have to make it a bit bigger so we can actually see it. And there we are. Let's just drag that out and make it nice and big. Easy. That's all there is to it. Installing fonts. Download the font to your iPad. Open um, Photo or Designer. Go to Preferences find the font you will notice sometimes when you find the font and tap on it that it won't actually first up appear in that list you have to close it down and then go back to it let's go out of this one and into designer same deal fonts now let's go right to the bottom here and there's zero g wildfire normal Let's see if LMN OP Romanesco is in there. It looks like I've already got most of these fonts installed. That makes sense. Recording, we're going to look at putting fonts into the system where anything can see them. And to do this, I've found iFont is probably the latest version that accounts for the iOS 14 update. The other ones haven't quite made it yet. Now there's iFont in the App Store. Font Finder, I've found that we can do that. Open Files. Now let's go to Google Fonts. There's a whole raft of them there. There's Abril Fatface. Let's try that one. I happen to know that's not installed. There's Abril Fatface there, regular. Let's install it. Downloading a configuration profile. Do you want to allow this? Allow profile downloaded. Close. And the instructions, which you can go into if you like, but I'm showing you that. So 
Let's close that down. We'll go back to there. We'll go to Profiles. There's Abril Fat Face Regular. It's downloaded, but it's not installed, as you can see in Configuration Profiles. So we'll just tap on that. Abril Fat Face Regular Install. Now... Profile is not signed. Install. Install the profile. And it's done. Now, Abril Fat Face Regular will be available to anything on this iPad. It really is as simple as that.